Oh, well now you're thoroughly brainwashed <laughs> under my control. Welcome back. I met and had John Cleese sign this. John Cleese of Monty Python fame. It's a horrible book, but I want to tell you what's great about it. It talks about the power of your subconscious mind. And it's like this. You're at a party at... Oh, God. Sorry. What's his name? What's his name? Anyway, yeah, let's go over and get a bevy. Let's go over and get some vodka. I'll have a Tito's and soda. You know that's the drink that has the less calories than anything else. A Tito's and soda. So if you're trying to lose... Jerry. His name is Jerry from Three Dudes and a Dead Chick. Jerry. I, I remember him. Subconscious continues to work even when you don't. John Cleese says he's not funny. He was going to be a lawyer. But what he does is he writes out scenarios that aren't necessarily funny, puts them beside his bed, and when he wakes up, it's all there. Because while you sleep, your mind is working. Look, I spoke to uh, Keith Richards at Soldier Field Voodoo Lounge Tour, and he talked about how he would keep a tape running sometimes, and he would hear himself sing in his sleep. My point is, uh, I don't know, the big questions of life. Have you thought of writing them down on a piece of paper, laying it beside your bed, when you wake up, when your mind is fresh, your minds continue to work, even though you've gone off on great adventures, boy, I do, in dreamland. When you wake up, you're going to have the answers. So that's what I learned from this book, John Cleese, Creativity. Oh, you like this? You can smell that from there? This is uh, my cologne. It's uh, pump number seven. Yesterday, I was wearing uh, tar from the roof. Hmm. <laughs> I was a cute little twink. Did you know that for many years, I was the male ass of Lee Jeans? You know, still, I hear about it. People say, man, Cal, what an ass. Get the jab, get the jab. You gotta get the jab. It seems to me the media portrays us as two kinds of people out here in America. Those that get it, superior. Those that don't, well, those that ask questions are stupid. Which one are you? Do you know why there are no good American knock-knock jokes? Because freedom doesn't knock, it rings. Ha <laughs> ha! God bless America. No, that was a little strong. That was a little much. In but it's hotline? Yeah, I've fallen and I can't get up. Yeah. I'm in Vegas at Michael's Gourmet Room, and I just won $10,000. I'm having fun. And a guy comes over, a man cow fan, I don't know if it was his girlfriend, his wife, or a working girl, and he says he's really in, he's a big fan, and he's really into watching people with, my daughters are here, I gotta be careful, can you hear me? So he offers me $10,000, can you hear me? To be with this girl. I run into my doctor, for real, this is not a joke. I run into my doctor, and I say, this guy wants me to, this woman he wants to watch, and I wouldn't do it. And my doctor, and I said, what do you think? And my doctor says, I'm not kidding. In a word, yes! I, I was like shocked. I'll tell you, I, I, don't, I don't fool around. I'm in Vegas, a lot of sex being offered. And I'm telling you, I miss my wife so much. I seriously almost hired a hooker to come up to my room at the Cosmopolitan and ignore me.